Netflix has officially gotten the memo. We want more rom-coms. Let's do this so we can stop doing this. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five reasons to watch Netflix's The Perfect Date. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at all the reasons we're excited about this 2019 comedy. Number 5. It's based on a book. Almost all of our favorite YA movies are based on awesome books, so you know when an upcoming movie has a novel behind it that it's gonna be good. The Perfect Date is inspired by a novel called The Stand-In by author and screenwriter Steve Bloom, with a hardcover edition released in 2016. Though Bloom also co-wrote the screenplays for James and the Giant Peach and The Sure Thing, we wouldn't be too surprised if you've never heard of this book. At the time of writing, there were less than 100 ratings on Goodreads. We have a feeling that if this movie is as popular as we think it'll be, those numbers are going to skyrocket. Number 4. The Modern Plot The plot of this movie is one that feels like a classic romantic comedy storyline, but with a modern twist. Main character Brooks desperately wants to attend an Ivy League college, and he has the marks to get in, but not the cash to pay for it. I'll take you, cousin. <laughs> what? After agreeing to take on a job where he plays a girl's date to a semi-formal dance, he realizes that he might be onto something. Every date would be custom built. They could pick my personality, my interests, whether I'm a listener or a talker. With a friend's help, he develops an app that will match him with girls who want to hire him to be their dates. Number 3. Laura Marano One of the major reasons people are getting excited about this movie is the stellar cast. Camila Mendez of Riverdale fame plays Shelby Pace, the girl of Brooks's dreams. But Disney Channel fans will be thrilled to learn that Laura Marano, best known for her starring role on Austin and Allie, is playing the female lead Celia Lieberman, who is the first girl that Brooks goes out with in his money-making scheme. With these two great and well-loved actresses working alongside one another, you just know it's going to be good. Number 2. The Humor In these difficult times where we seem constantly bombarded by bad news, sometimes we just need something humorous and fluffy. That's why movies like 2018's To All the Boys I've Loved Before have been such a hit. They provide the perfect light-hearted and cozy antidote to the stressors we all face. I can't believe you're dating Kavinsky. Why? I mean, is it so unbelievable that someone could like me? The Perfect Date seems like it's going to follow the same formula, and will definitely deliver the laughs. In the trailer alone, Brooks makes a joke about Barack and Michelle Obama that had us giggling. Did you know that Michelle Obama got paid to go on a date with Barack? And look how great that turned out. Is that true? I don't know. But it could be true. And that is my point. Not to mention the premise of the story lends itself perfectly to humor with Brooks reinventing himself for each date. What are some of your interests outside of school? Howdy. Number 1. Noah Centineo Yeah, we know why you're all here. The elephant in the room is that The Perfect Date stars Noah Centineo, who has basically become Netflix's official heartthrob. After finding fame starring as Peter Kavinsky in To All the Boys I've Loved Before, he also appeared as the male lead in the teen comedy Sierra Burgess is a Loser both of which were released in 2018. Centineo has clearly found his niche, sweet and romantic high school films. And we're not complaining about the formula, because we would watch him in just about anything. There's no other way to see it. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.